Hey, hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to share with you guys my uh, pressure washer build. It's based off the Predator 212 engine. I have the electric start on it and everything. I built this strictly for detailing only. I have some larger units that I don't want to uh, blast all that pressure and all that use all those gallons per minute on washing the car to maybe destroy the clear coat or mess with mess up anything on the car. But if you guys are planning on building this, um, it's pretty easy. You know, I could have got away with just buying the engine. The engine was ninety nine dollars, and buying the pump. The pump I got, I got the cheapest pump they had off eBay. You know, it's only two point three gallons per minute. Around 2,500 PSI. I think the listing, they may say 3,000, but trust me, it's 2,500 PSI at start. And when it's running, spraying water, you're down to about 14 to 1,500 PSI. You know, in my world, you know, and be honest, that's around the sweet spot, you know, 14, 1,500 PSI. I, I don't mind, you know, but that's what I have for right now. You know, I'm going to upgrade later on to a, a better pump. You know, probably a commercial grade pump to flow back to my tank when I love the trigger, but mostly I cut it off, you know, in between washes and everything. But this is what we have. And if you guys plan on building this, uh, you know, it, it's best to buy, you know, do not try to buy the kit, the Honda kit with the electric start because it won't fit. You know, everything will fit on here. Everything is from the Honda engine except for. The actual flywheel. The actual flywheel is a Kohler flywheel. I will leave the link in the description. It's an actual Kohler flywheel. That's the only flywheel that will actually slide directly on the Predator 212 engine if you plan on building this. So, you know, I actually have a total of $408.09 in this, in this actual unit. You know, I didn't mind investing it. You know, because the first day that I actually used it I actually made over four hundred and nine dollars so you know I look at it like this the the equipment was paid for the first day after that it's making money so this is what I bought first I ended up buying the initial switch with the uh, starter that was forty eight eighty eight on eBay then I bought the Cola flywheel. That was actually $81.26. That was also on eBay. You guys may find it somewhat cheaper, but this is what I paid for it. I actually had, you know, the Honda, the actual fan that's actual over the flywheel. That had to be changed. The Predator fan had to be changed as well. Uh, the actual fan was $11.95. For the Honda fan, it's actually a Honda fan. Like I say, everything is Honda except for the actual flywheel. The flywheel, you have to go with Cola if you're gonna go with the electric start. The fan housing, that's actual actually Honda. The fan housing was actually $36. Got that off eBay as well. And then you know the engine was $99. And like I say, the pump was $130. That totaled up to four hundred and eight dollars and nine cents for everything that's the flywheel the fan housing the uh, Honda fan the ignition switch and the starter the pump and the engine but yeah this is the back of it this is the engine I do have to have an elbow on it to make it come around to actually get to the pump from the position that I have it sitting in but it actually flows fine I have a one inch pipe coming out actually come it comes out of my tank a two inch then it goes down to one inch so it, it actually flows pretty well but yeah this is it you can actually get this pump and this engine and you can start detailing for actually two hundred and thirty dollars the pump in the engine two hundred and thirty dollars the extras were for the electric start for the flywheel uh, Honda fan, the fan housing, the ignition switch box and starter. Those those were the extras. The extras end up costing a hundred and seventy eight dollars and nine cents. 
But yeah, it's a good investment in my world because it works out good for me. Uh, I don't know if anybody else want to add electric start to their system, but that's all. That's what you have to do to add electric start. But that's it. Thanks for viewing. Subscribe. Comment. Let me know what you think about this.